This week, I published a short video just telling you briefly that we had a student here at the IAC campus in Portugal, where I am now, and he had five long, important vibrational state during one night in which he was trying to leave the body. I want to tell you what he did to be able to achieve this and the advice that I had given him in that very same day, which produced excellent results. Hang in there. Hello, I am Nancy Trevelato. Thank you for being here with me. If it's your first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. I am going to discuss about vibration state and its connection with the conscious astral projection. Let me tell you what was the case of the student who was here and what he learned from his experience. Number one, I mentioned to him that he needed to do more velos in order to unblock his energy because he was trying to leave the body, but he had some energy blockage. We worked with his energy and could check and could give him some tips. And then he finally understood more clearly how he would apply VELO. If you are not familiar with VELO, V-E-L-O, it is a method, a method to perform an ancient technique that consists of moving one's own energy inside the body, longitudinally along the body. So VELO is an efficient way to perform this technique that produces great result. You have videos here in this channel explaining about this. I'll just link them for you at the end. For now, let's think about the vibrational state and how to produce it. I mentioned to this student that he should perform more values to make his energy more loose, to make this more flexible. It was too much stagnant. And therefore, not only harder to leave the body, but also harder to control one's energy, to apply it when needed, and not so ideal for us to feel more energized. We need the energies more loosened in order to feel more energized. So he started doing the velo technique, and he did it in that specific day for two hours, 15 minutes, non-stop. He was great with his discipline and concentration, so he did it very well. At the end, he came and he was just asking questions, general questions about doubts he had when he experienced different energy phenomena in different moments. And then he asked me, when I am trying to leave the body and I sense the vibration state, what should I do? Because I do not know what to do when I try to work with the vibration state, then it stops, it goes away, I do not manage to go further and leave the body. So what do I do? My tip was, you sense the vibrational state, don't try to get out of the body immediately. Because most people, when they are not very experienced with the vibrational state in conjunction with the disconnection from the body, they will think that the vibrational state is there. It means, okay, I'm leaving, I'm out, or I'm just escaping from the body. And they start trying to do some sort of effort to detach, some movement. So they try to roll, they try to apply a technique, they try to sit up with their subtle non-physical body or the astral body. Then, instead of contributing to the result of the experience, instead of having the out-of-body experience, it simply blocks both the vibrational state and the out-of-body experience. What I told him was, when you sense the vibration state and it's not in the right frequency that immediately ejects you out, because sometimes that happens, then don't deal with it immediately. Let it come. Just have the intention of experiencing it, of observing its frequency, its mode of operation. Sometimes it's almost like you can feel the vibration state in a little of a synesthetic language here as if it was a texture, because you feel the amplitude, the frequency, or the rhythm of the waves, so it can be very complex, deliciously complex. Observe, I told him. Give yourself time to be familiar with 
what level of vibration is happening in that given vibration state. And let me remind you of something that I mentioned very clearly in my book, that is, not all vibrations are vibrational states. I have a book about vibrational state and the Velo technique in which I published their results of more than 15 years of research on this phenomenon. It's a bit technical, but it's loaded with original information if you are there for a bit technical reading. Anyways, when he then observed that he had the first spontaneous vibration state during the night, what did he do? Observed, didn't fight with it, didn't put too much effort in controlling it, more of a will and intention than a direct action or effort. And then the vibration state went away. He stayed there, not moving calmly, just intending to leave the body, not pushing. It's very important. We cannot get anxious anxious if we want to leave the body. So he continued there. Then, as I said, the second vibrational state came. As I told him, it normally happens. So it came with a different duration, different degree in intensity, and he observed. And then he dared to try to control the frequency. There in a good sense. So he played with it, observed. He couldn't control. He couldn't get out of the body. But then he would just go for another level of the experience. Another vibrational state came longer, more intense, gave him the possibility of observed details in his chakras, how his non-physical body would start detaching and all of the nuances of what goes on during the vibrational state phenomenon. That repeated itself several times. Did he manage to leave the body? No, he said, he couldn't. Because there was not time enough, because he was still trying to deal with all that. But in the morning, when we saw him and we asked him, oh, how was your night? Could you have a conscious out-of-body experience? He said, no. But the night was very eventful, very eventful. And he had lots of paper with him and he wanted to read all of the details and tell us all of the details because he was super excited, super energized. So the whole day he was smiling from here to here with the wonderful experience he had. So bear in mind these tips that I gave him. Vibration state comes and comes in waves. If it is a real vibration state, it is deep and you do not produce the out-of-body experience at that moment, or it didn't happen spontaneously, hang in there, stay, observe, learn what is the specific moment of the vibration state or frequency of the vibration state in which you detach and observe. Because sometimes we start sensing vibrations, not because we are already getting out. Sometimes the vibrations come, I mean vibrations of the vibration state phenomenon. But sometimes they come because, of course, our bodies are completely aligned. So they are in a total adherence one to another based on the energy connection. When the non-physical body here starts to get more loose, so it's not yet coming out. It's just starting to get less stuck here, even though it's still aligned. We already may experience a vibration state, but therefore not yet just going out. Give yourself time, enjoy, and please practice the Velo technique. You have here a video teaching the technique. Enjoy. The benefits are amazing. It is worthwhile. There are many techniques to apply energies and to do different things. And of course, we can use many. But when it comes to bringing our energy body to the ideal condition we need to, to detach, to leave the body consciously, well, hardly we would ever find one better than this. That's the technique I use. I hope this video was useful to you and gave you some valuable tips. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. That's a great help. I thank you and I hope to see you in a future video.